Hello, hello, this is Debbie Drum and welcome to Passive Income with Content. We're here live every Friday. The replays are on YouTube and Instagram. Also live on Facebook and go to webinar. Woohoo! This technology is awesome and it's really fun to talk to you about topics that will add to your bottom line in the form of income, in the form of subscribers, in the form of fans, just overall greatness online for your online marketing business. Okay. And today we're going to be talking about content repurposing with minimal effort. So again, if you are on YouTube, please go ahead, subscribe, like, and comment. I always love to hear from you. Content repurposing. What the heck is it? It's using the same content in multiple places. So you make one piece of content work for you over and over. And another definition is having or putting the same content into multiple formats. So picture one piece of content, over here, over here, over here, over here, or one piece of content in, in different formats so that people can consume this content in different ways. This is really, really important because not everybody likes to consume content in, in the same way. I like to consume content with audio and visual. Some other people like to just read the content and that's how they learn better. So you need to have your content that benefits everyone, not just a, you know, a segment of your audience. When we talk about content repurposing, we're talking really about having your content in the audio version, in the video version, in the written version. And then you can go ahead and take this content, put it on YouTube, put it on Instagram, put it on podcasts, put it on blog posts, guest blog posts, live videos, and more. So now hopefully you're seeing how you can distribute one piece of content in several different modalities. Today, I want to really talk to you about the audio version of your content. Not because I think it's important, because the big A, what I like to call Amazon, <laughs> thinks audio is important. And I'll just share this book that I purchased this week. Wanted to get some insight into Demi Moore's history and her upbringing. So I was interested in this book. I saw it at Barnes and Noble last week. I'm like, let me go ahead and get it. And as soon as I purchased the Kindle book, because that's how I consume information via Kindle, not the physical book, I was presented immediately with the audio version of the book and to kind of have that bundled together. If you actually click the audio sample of this book, she actually reads the book herself too, which I think is cool when the author reads the book, especially if it's like a famous person or a celebrity. Uh, that's not always important for every single book. Amazon is integrating audio in their purchases and that means that they think it's important, number one, and number two, Who's getting more money? Well, the author is making more money because if somebody purchases that upgrade, the author gets a piece of that and then Amazon gets a piece of that. So let's talk about how to get your content into audio. Well, there's really three options. One is you record the audio yourself, which is an awesome option. My friend Derek Depker, he is a uh, expert at this and he teaches people how to record their own audio. You could also hire somebody else to do this for you and depending how big your book is or how many words how many pages then obviously the longer it is the more money you're going to be spending on hiring somebody right and then finally there is an option that you can split the royalties some audio people who do this for a living they'll say yeah I'll take on the project but you've got to pay me royalties when every time we sell a copy of the book and you might think that this is a great uh, strategy because you're not paying as much money up front, which is cool, right? Some people just like to do that and that's, that's good. But now there is a new option, which I'm really, really excited about. The option is, is that you get a robot to do it for you for free. Imagine not having to deal with all the hassles, uh, which we'll get into, but 
I want to just introduce you to this new tool, which I've been loving, and it's called Voice Buddy. And it has realistic voices, realistic sounding voices, where you literally just paste your content into a box, you select your language, you select your voice, and then you click generate. And you can play around with tones, you can play around with languages. It's like I think it's like 141 different languages that this tool offers because they're using and integrating with um, something called Google Wave, which is the voice um, engineering behind Google and Amazon Polly, which is the voice engineering behind Amazon. And that's how they're able to do this. So it's devdrum.com slash voice buddy. With this tool, whenever you want the audio version of your content, you're not going to have to contact people or interview them to find the perfect voice you're looking for. You're not going to have to wait a long time for projects to get completed. No spending hundreds or thousands of dollars. And you're just going to have to copy and paste. I want to just demonstrate some of the, the the natural voices they have here. So he separated them into Google Wave and Amazon Polly. So if I just go to, let's go to an English female here. Be the reason someone feels loved and believes in the goodness in people. I mean, how real does that sound? I wouldn't be recommending this, by the way, if the voices sounded like a robot. I was joking when I said hire a robot. Technically, this person is not alive and they are a robot, but they sound very human. And I'm not about making your content not good and not consumable. The old audio versions of a computer were very robotic. These new voices they literally sound real and they even sound sometimes like they're they're they they're taking breaths which is crazy to me but here look at listen to this возьмите на себя ответственность за свое счастье никогда не передавайте его в руки других людей how cool is that I love it so much. Now, this example that I just showed you means that this is another opportunity for you to make even more money because now you can translate your content into other languages. And because it's backed by the power of Google and Amazon, it's pretty powerful that this is going to be per done with very, very high quality, right? Meaning that it's not, if you ask somebody to listen to it who speaks that native language, they're probably going to be, yeah, this maybe like a couple changes. I don't know. I don't speak Russian, but that's what I, yeah, that's what I'm guessing. So let's just see what Amazon Polly sounds like. Let's go for Welsh. A random act of kindness no matter how small, can make a tremendous impact on someone else's life. Okay, so let's go. Follow your heart. Listen to your inner voice. Stop caring about what others think. That sounds super real to me. So you guys can play around with this all you want, but I also really just want to point out that um, if you're listening to this right now, that you should act on this because um, the price is fairly low. What will make this more expensive in the future is the fact that because it's integrated with Google Wave and Amazon, that's not free, right? So this is kind of like your price right now that you can get in the lowest instead of paying a monthly fee. You can do this for your content on Amazon. I would have this content repurposed in any place you can do it, whether it's like a blog post or it's a product that you're selling online. This is an additional thing that you could say that you have with your product. You have the audio version in case people want to listen to the content as opposed to you know, reading it or watching a video. And I've written a whole book on content and reading and listening to the content as you're reading the words to kind of consume that content in a better way, have a better understanding of that content. People love audio. People want audio. Amazon backs this. I definitely stand behind it. One more thing I want to say before I go is that 
Uh, I'm closely working with the developer of this tool and we're going to be upgrading this in terms of how this could be better used for authors. Okay. So like different chapters, I have a lot of ideas for this. So thanks for hanging with me. That's debdrum.com slash voice buddy. And I will see you on the next live session. Bye-bye.